Hey guys, so today we are in a random kitchen. <laughs> we're in the process of moving right now, so we're actually in an Airbnb. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys just a few recipes that are some of my favorites right now. They're super healthy, they're really delicious, and I just had so much fun filming this video for you. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the recipes even more because they are so delicious and nutritious. And I already said delicious. They're really good. <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with these strawberry dream bars. They're so delicious and like creamy, yummy, fruity. They're amazing. So you wanna start off with one and a half cups of pecans and then you wanna do three pitted dates and that's really gonna give it that, um, it's gonna bind it together, it's gonna make it sweet and it's really gonna help with the crust's um, overall texture and it's really good. Dates in anything just makes it sweet and yummy. So then you're gonna add in two tablespoons of coconut oil and just a pinch of salt. Blend it all up and then you wanna press it down. I used an eight by eight container and then pop it into the fridge so that it can set. Now, in the meantime, you wanna go ahead and soak one and a half cups of cashews in hot water. Now, ideally, you would actually wanna soak these like overnight in just uh, room temperature water, but I didn't have a lot of time, so you go the fast way when you don't have a lot of time, which, whatever. Not ideal, but it worked, so. Um, then I just went ahead and washed a couple of cups of strawberries, so two cups, quite literally, a couple of cups, and, um, Wash those up, chop them up, and then you wanna add them into your blender with a little bit of lemon juice, a third of a cup of coconut milk, because that was really gonna give it that thick, creamy texture, the fat from the coconut milk, super good, healthy fats. And then I did half a cup of maple syrup. So then you wanna go ahead and add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I really wanted to let you guys know that healthy living can be super simple and super affordable. I use and shop on Thrive Market and that's actually where I got this vanilla extract. They sell all their products 25 to 50% lower than retail, which is honestly just amazing because it makes healthy living affordable for everyone. And especially I love to bake and I'm always restocking my kitchen with things like vanilla extract that really can get expensive. It's really awesome to have such a big discount on something all of the time. So then after you've blended everything up, you wanna just go ahead and pour that over the top of your crust and pop it into the freezer. I put some fruit and coconut shavings over the top just to make it pretty. And this was delicious, like creamy, yummy, healthy, and so, so, so good. So next we're gonna move into the almond butter bliss balls. These are perfect because if you just want a quick bite of protein, something that's gonna fill you up, give you some healthy fats, and something that's easy to make and whip up, uh, this is for you. So you wanna start out with a cup of almond butter. I wanted to do chunky, but you can totally do creamy. It's all up to your preference. And then I added in about a tablespoon and a half of this equal exchange organic baking cocoa, and you don't have to necessarily bake with it. I just love the flavor so much that I'm gonna use it in these bliss balls. You wanna add in half a cup of coconut flour, that's really gonna bind everything together, and then a third of a cup of maple syrup just to keep it sweet. Mix it all up and literally just form them into your little protein balls, and they are so good, so easy to make, and they're delicious. So um, I chose to use a little bit of cocoa just because I wanted that chocolatey flavor. And now for the fun part. I'm gonna take some of my shredded coconut from Thrive and I'm just going to take the protein balls and 
put them in a little bit of maple syrup so that they get sticky and roll them up in the coconut. These are a perfect after school or work snack with the healthy fats in there. Uh, they're really filling and satisfying and packed full of protein from that almond butter. Okay, so this berry chia freeze is like my fun take on like an interesting smoothie. You wanna take about a cup of any type of nut milk of your choice or coconut milk or whatever you like. And then I did a fourth of a cup of chia seeds. And then you literally just wanna add in a little bit of acai powder. Just I just wanted to flavor it with that. And then for your smoothie part of it, um, I just threw in like a cup of strawberries and one banana and a little bit of coconut milk. Just the less the better because I really wanted it thick and I, I really like my chia seed pudding thick. I really like the smoothie thick because when you eat it together, it's like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. So um, ideally you want to let the chia soak overnight, but I just didn't have time so I added an extra chia and then I just topped it with some coconut again and lemon. Oh my goodness, put lemon on top of this. Like the flavor with, oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. It was so good. Like don't underestimate the power of a little bit of something on top of your smoothie because it makes a difference and it makes it delicious. So, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. So I wanted to throw this one in there just because the dates that I bought were so good and sweet and yummy. Um, you literally just put some almond butter and sprinkle some coconut on top. I had to include these because they're that good. Like they're so easy, but you can't neglect the easy recipes just because they're easy. You know what I mean? I really wanted to include this as well. We went huckleberry picking and blackberry picking. It is such a fun experience to watch food truly like come to life, not only in the kitchen, but from like farm to table, if that makes sense, or from wilderness to table. It's like low key my dream is to like go back to the days where you had to like make your own flour and like truly make every single thing from scratch. But anyway, speaking of flour, all the flours that I'm gonna use in this next recipe are from Thrive Market, and they are truly the best prices that I've ever found for the flours that I personally like to use for baking because I eat mostly paleo and I'm completely gluten-free. And you can actually filter the products that you want by category on their website. So if you're new to Thrive Market and want to give them a try, they're gonna give you an extra 25% off your first purchase and a free 30-day trial. So that's 25% off of their already super low prices. And just use my link in the description box to get started and you're gonna love it. So for the cobbler, you wanna go ahead and use two tablespoons of water along with two tablespoons of lemon juice and four tablespoons of maple syrup and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So then you wanna add in four cups of your choice of berries. I used our picked huckleberries and blackberries. And then you mix it all up and you top it off with one tablespoon of tapioca flour. I love using tapioca flour and I'm constantly using it in my baking because it's a great gluten-free flour to really hold and bind things together. So then we're gonna work on the topping. So you're gonna use four tablespoons of maple syrup and three tablespoons of of coconut oil along with one cup of almond flour. For some reason I thought I filmed the almond flour getting added and as you can see I included it but I don't know what happened. I like didn't film it. So anyway I used a cup of almond flour and then mixed it up and just placed it right on top and you want to bake it for about 35 minutes at 350 and it is amazing and I literally baked like a thousand other things because I went crazy. So that is your cobbler and I hope you guys enjoy. It's delicious. It's grain-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, super yummy. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market in the description box and let me know what you guys think of these recipes. Thanks for watching.